Man, <laughs> Valak ain't playing no games. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is AJ, and I am one half of In Love With Horror. And if you like horror movie news and reviews, make sure you subscribe for more content. Now, this video is going to be all about The Nun 2. It's going to be a non-spoiler review. And let me break it down for y'all. This is how I'm going to do this review. I'm going to give you a little, a little bit of information about the film, like uh, who was directed by, who was written by, and then a little brief synopsis uh, on The Nun 2. And then I'll jump into what I liked, and then I'll jump into what I didn't like, and then give uh, wrap it all up into a nice conclusion and give y'all a rating uh, for this film. So let's go ahead and start off with uh, information about the film. Now, The Nun 2 was directed by Michael Chavez, and the story was done by Akila Cooper. The film stars Tysa Farmiga as Sister Irene, Jonas Bloquet as Maurice, and Storm Reed as a new nun named Deborah. So The Nun 2 takes place in 1956 France. We meet um, a now full-on uh, nun and Sister Irene because she's taken her vows, and she's at a uh, nun convent in France, and we meet uh, someone who... Uh, who's a friend of hers, uh, who Storm Reed plays, is a nun named Deborah. Now, in this film, we find out that uh, Valak is once again on the loose. Valak is out, y'all, in uh, Roman France and looking for a holy relic. Uh, and, of course, Sister Irene ends up coming face-to-face with Valak once again, and then, you know, the everything pops off. The story goes from there. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the things that I liked about the nun, too. Now, first off, number one, the thing I like the most is that this is way better than the nun, uh, the first nun. And that, I mean, I mean, let's keep it real. The bar is already pretty low, but man, this is just like a thousand times better, y'all. Now, one thing that I really liked was uh, Jonas Bloquet's performance as Maurice. Now, uh, Jonas was a big standout in the first nun uh, playing Maurice, an excellent uh, supporting character. And now he's kind of uh, got a main role within uh, the nun too. And there's a, a lot of different facets to this character. I don't want to give anything away, but you'll see in this film um, that, man, he's got some range. And I, I like the way he plays this character. And I, again, in The Nun 2, I think that um, Jonas as Maurice is a huge standout. Now, along with those performances, I got to give a huge shout out to Bonnie Aarons as Valak the Demon Nun. Because, y'all, a Valak is popping off in this film like damn and that's one of the things that i really liked in this in this movie it really showcased valak's power valak goes stupid in this movie y'all i mean this this movie it is brutal it's um it's you know it, it doesn't really have gore in it but like it's got the it's the brutality is there the impact is there um and valak is just I think Valak is the most menacing Valak has ever been. Sinister. The visuals of Valak look good. Uh, the eeriness, the creepiness, and then just the power. You really see just how powerful Valak is in this film. Now, another thing I liked with uh, this film is the story. I feel like the story was a lot more straightforward and uh, more easily digestible. And it also allowed Valak to really go ham, essentially. Because uh, the first film got convoluted in trying to showcase Valak's origin and how Valak got out of that, that Abbey. And this film, it's like, I don't know, Valak's on a quest and just, you know, ain't nothing stopping Valak from, you know, the thing that she's trying to cut, the thing she's trying to get, this this relic. And uh, and that uh, that gives Valak room to do what Valak does best. And that's just like scare the fuck out of people and then fuck people up. Now, speaking of the story, this film also kind of expands the lore a little bit of uh, the Conjuring universe. It implies, it implies some things about um, like people who have visions and powers and um, kind of where they uh, could come from, where they get that power from. It was cool because I feel like it set the stage or potentially expanding the conjuring into something really big in terms of having this whole lore about like lineage and uh history and I feel like now with these with future films they can kind of go crazy and really like elevate the conjuring lore wise beyond uh, what it was initially which was just you know basically examining case files of the warrants until like something that's 
like got a whole world behind it, almost in the vein of like like the continental and the assassin world of John Wick and how each film expanded upon um, like the, the rules of the world and the history of the world. I feel like we're getting a taste of that here in The Nun too. And I feel like with future films, if they keep building on that, they can build something in that kind of nature where, you know, we've got a whole world around, uh, you know, people with the abilities and visions and, you know, dealing with, with uh, these demons and it can get crazy, y'all. It's cool. It's cool. And the idea of what they can do with this further is dope. Now, another thing that I really liked was the third act of this film. Uh, it definitely took, <laughs> it took the movie to the next level. Uh, it, that, yo, and that, if you see, if you saw my out of theater reaction, I mentioned how like the third act's almost like goes on like full anime. And it, and honestly, it kind of does. So, like, it's almost like fighting a, fighting a final boss. There's shots that remind me of like anime related shots. Like think about when someone like is powering up or something like a major move happens or people collide fists and it's like shock waves. Like even some of the way that the camera angles and the different shots are, are uh, set up uh, or are framed remind me of like anime. And then it gets kind of like fantastical. And honestly, I was all on board. I think he even said verbally at one point, like watch, watching the film, I was like, yo, this is fucking cool. Like, I like how they're doing this because uh, it was still had the horror element, but it it got very, uh, I don't even know how to describe it other than like fantastical and anime-ish and like, it was just cool, y'all. I, I really like how it all played out. I really like the way it, the way it looked, I like the visuals. I thought the effects looked really good because uh, there was both practical and CGI, of course. And I think, I thought all of it looked really good. I feel like in terms of, uh, like production, I don't, I don't know what the budget was for this film, but at least on screen, this looks like the most expensive Conjuring movie, honestly. Now, speaking of visuals, uh, I've mentioned Valak already earlier in, in Bonnie Aaron's performance of Valak, but I did want to mention that, you know, I, I said Valak was menacing, but also just like the, like, if you've seen some of the trailers, like the way that like Valak's like peeping around the corner, like it really brought back that like sinister like yo, i'm scared of valley like i'm like i'm gonna be laying on my bed looking at the looking at my door like waiting for valley to peek around the corner like that's the kind of feeling that uh is evoked uh, throughout this film another thing i liked and this is for anyone who hasn't seen the film yet there is a mid credit scene and this isn't like the mid credit scene from like annabelle creation for example where it's literally just annabelle and then like you're waiting to see if she's gonna turn her head no this is actual like uh connecting uh mid credit scene now with that being said i haven't seen any good clarification online yet on whether the mid credit scene just is like a like a call back to a previous film or referencing a potential future film i'm hoping it's referencing a potential future film but just know there is a, med a mid credit scene that is worth staying around for now let's talk about some things that i did not like about this film uh, number one yeah i was kind of disappointed because in the first the first nun movie like, I'm going to call it like the nun theme, like when the nun was coming down the hallway and, and, and the other subsequent parts in the film where it really featured uh, Valak. You got this weird like monk chant sound that was like, oh, I was really kind of hoping to like bring that shit back in the nun too. It was not around, but I always thought that like that combined with the way Valak looked was always creepy as hell. And I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't in this film. Um, so if you're looking out for that, I mean, if you're weird like me and you, you were kind of looking forward to hearing that uh it's not in the film uh you know it's unfortunate but it's not now one of the main problems with this film i think is the pacing i found myself at times especially early on in the film kind of like you would get the moments where valak would, would appear and then you know like wreck shop real quick um and then it would just you know disappear and then move some story parts along and i found myself sometimes like just counting the seconds or minutes until we got Valak back on screen. I feel like that's kind of a good problem to have since this is a The Nun 2, right? It's a Valak focused movie and all the scenes that feature Valak are honestly the best scenes in the film. I, I mean, I feel like that's a good thing, but at the same time, I was kind of disappointed because uh, like, I don't know, I was, I was, it wasn't all the time, right? Especially when you reach kind of the second half to third act of this film where things get just fucking crazy and you start getting that expanded lore information. Like things get kind of cool uh, with that. But at the same time, like early on in the film, early on in the film, there's like some bad pacing issues. It's almost like being on like a, a roller coaster and you you, you kind of go fast a little bit and you're kind of getting hyped and then it like slows down and you're like, 
Uh, and it's like, oh, I'm going to go fast again. Oh, this is awesome. Nah, okay. It's kind of like, it's a little boring, a little, you know, a little snoozing. Um, and that's just how I felt. Like, I don't know. This, like, I like, like I, I kind of like Sister Irene and I like some of the other characters, but they're, they just kind of feel like uninteresting. Uh, even the, uh, the nun that Storm Reed plays, uh, I was kind of hoping they would have done more with her, honestly, but I feel like she was just there to serve as, you know, like the sidekick of Sister Irene. And then that's kind of it. And then she became just a person that would see some shit and then scream and then start running. Like there was really, I was very disappointed that they didn't give her more to do in this film. Cause I'm, she's a, she's a very capable actress and she could have done a lot more. Um, and I, I wish they would have given her character a lot more to do and have a lot more of an impact. Uh, so that, I feel like that combined with the pacing uh, and just not really the character's not being super interesting outside of Maurice. Um, you know, it was just kind of, it was just kind of disappointing. Another thing that I didn't like was some of the decision-making and plot points, uh, in this film. There were times where certain things just like didn't make sense or needed like further, uh, explanation. Um, and so I kind of found myself like, wait, like they didn't realize that this was going on or, or, you know, why aren't they doing X? Why aren't they doing Y? Like, so that you're going to encounter some kind of, some dumb moments where you'll make those sorts of comments. There's not a whole lot of them, but they do exist. And I was automatically in the, in the moment of watching this film thinking like, well, okay, that doesn't make sense. Well, what about this? You know, like those sorts of situations. So be prepared uh, for that in this film. Now, another thing that I, that I wish I uh, could have seen within this film, I mentioned how, you know, Valak's basically on a, on a quest to find a, a particular relic, right? And then just like going ham and destroying people in the search of this relic. Uh, I wish we could have gotten more like verbal interactions uh, in this film because it is expressed that, you know, you know, Valak's in search of something. Uh, so you would just kind of expect to see Valak almost like interrogating people, um, you know, while simultaneously having the brutality. The brutality is there in this film. I just feel like the uh, the element of trying to figure out where th where this certain thing is or what's going on. We didn't get to see that part. Another thing I didn't like was that there were some scenes in this film that were different than the trailer. And and they were actually worse for it, honestly. Like there were certain scenes I was really looking forward to uh, in this film. And they were like fairly different in the movie. Um, and it wasn't a situation where it was like, oh, I didn't like it because it wasn't the, the same. Like they literally just, because of that change, just weren't nearly as scary. Now, in conclusion, y'all, honestly, like this movie's actually pretty decent. Even like after the film, kind of sitting here thinking about it. And honestly, like it's a very, it's a very enjoyable movie. Like I said, it's not perfect. And those things that I mentioned, while I didn't mention, I didn't list a whole lot of things. Those things have a very big impact and are felt uh, and that kind of brings the movie down a little bit. But I think overall, this is honestly a very enjoyable film uh, with some great like horror and like creepy factors to it. Like Valak is in full fucking force, y'all. And I feel like this is kind of what we wanted to see in the first nun. Um, and I'm, I'm sure they probably like heard loud and clear like, hey, we want like if we're coming to watch the nun. We want to see Valak and then Valak doing what Valak does best. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that, that's definitely in this film. Like I, I loved Valak, uh, in this film, like she was going hard, but honestly, I am pleasantly surprised y'all. Cause I was fully expecting to walk out of this theater, maybe not potentially liking this film, but I walked, I walked out, even my out of theory, out of theater reaction. I was like, you know, what? it's actually pretty decent. And the more, I'm, the more I'm thinking about it, I like it, man. Like this is, this is a, this is a great a contribution to the Conjuring universe. I think it elevates the Conjuring universe. Um, and I think it really uh, does Valak uh, justice in this film, which is what I really wanted. And now I just want more Valak and hopefully, hopefully we get more Valak, but I, I don't know. I know we got Conjuring 4 the last, I think it's called The Last Rite that's coming out. Uh, I'm not sure when, uh, but I mean, I don't, I don't know if they're bringing Valak back or not. I don't know if that's overdone at this point, but after you see this film, you're going to want more Valak. I'm telling you, you're going to want more Valak. Now, if I had to give this film a rating, I think right now I'm honestly sitting at about either a 3.25 out of five or 3.5 out of five. Like I'm feeling pretty good on this film. So that's kind of where I'm sitting uh, with the nun two, but that's what I think about the nun two y'all. Uh, if you made it to this, to this point in the video, thank you so much for tuning in and watching the whole entire video. 
If you've seen The Nun 2, go ahead and drop down in the comments below what y'all thought about it. And if you are in agreement with me or did you think it wasn't too hot, uh, let me know all that in the comments below. Also, make sure you go and look on our channel because we did a, a whole The Conjuring Universe ranked and reviewed video uh, on the YouTube channel. So right before The Nun 2 uh, came out, we re-watched uh, re the entire Conjuring Universe and then ranked and reviewed all the films. That video is incredible, y'all. Make sure you check out that. Uh, and now we might have to go back and just do like a little mini update video uh, just to see where The Nun 2 is gonna place amongst the Conjuring Universe. Where is it gonna rank? Uh, we'll definitely have to see about that. But again, thank y'all so much for watching this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.